Most of, India, most of the state's adoption records are sealed. Anyone who was born before 1994 can't get access to their original birth certificate. There's a measure legislators are considering this session that would change that. But as Barbara Harrington reports, the proposal is sparking a debate about a mother's rights to privacy and an adoptee's rights to information. But if you can see my two, look, I mean, how much they are like her. From the moment you step inside Pam Krosky's home, it's clear her life revolves around family. These are my sisters. Her rooms are full of pictures of nieces, nephews, and siblings. But for decades, the face at the center of so many frames was a stranger to Krosky. It's like starting a book at chapter two. When you're missing that first chapter of a book or the first part of your life or that missing piece of the puzzle, you always have this sense of loss. Krosky was adopted into a loving family as a baby, but she spent much of her childhood wondering about her birth mother. It started, you know, forever ago as a kid wanting to know who I looked like, you know, who I acted like. Did I act like anybody that, you know, I was related to? You know nothing. As an adult, Krosky started searching for answers, but because of when she was born, finding them wasn't easy. The state sealed all adoption records from 1941 to 1994. In Indiana, there's a box that you can check and it says legitimate, yes or no. Mine says no, so I'm not legitimate. So as a kindergartner starting school, they don't want that kind of birth certificate to end up, you know, for the school corporation to see. But by sealing those records, Krosky says it's difficult for adoptees to get crucial information, not just about their birth families, but about genetic illnesses. Senate Bill 352 would allow adoptees born during the sealed records period to more easily access their original birth certificates. Currently, both the adoptee and the birth parent have to file written consent forms with the state registrar for the original birth certificate to be released. Republican Senator Brent Steele from Bedford says it can be a long and difficult process. That's why he's sponsoring the proposal. Any adoption prior to 1941, they have access to those records. Anything after 1993, they have access to those records. If you happen to fall in that slot in between, you do not have access. And that's not healthy for a society to have a dichotomy of of rules and standards applying to the same to the citizens of the state just because of the a difference in the year when their adoption took place. But what Steele sees is an issue of equal access to records. Indianapolis attorney Steve Kirsch sees as an infringement on privacy. The proposed law would allow all adoption records to be released regardless of when the adoption took place. The only exception is if a mother signs a non-release form. If this bill goes into effect, there are going to be women from 30, 40, 50, 60 years ago who thought that their secret was safe, who may get a knock on the door from someone saying, guess who I am? Kirsch says the bill is unfair because the state has no way to notify all of the mothers who gave children up for adoption between 1941 and 1993 that they need to file a form to protect their privacy. I don't believe that adoptees have a greater right to information than birth parents have a right to privacy. I don't believe their rights are greater. I think their rights are equal. And if a birth mother who has made the most loving, courageous decision of her life chooses to come to peace with her decision by keeping a secret, who, who are we, who is the legislature, who is the adoptee to say that that's not all right? This is my mom. Back at Pam Krosky's house, the walls tell a story of a successful reunion between an adoptee and her birth mother. But she says that's not the goal of this bill. She's fighting for the release of information, information that could be life changing. When we get our identifying information, of course, our birth mother's name is going to be on there. Um, there'll be other facts, too, though. There'll be our weight, the hospital we were born in, you know, how long was the you know, delivery? I mean, just little things like that mean so much to us. It actually gives us this fill of this void we had. And it's almost like when you get that birth certificate, it's like a treasure. A similar bill failed to win the approval of the legislature in 2011. Krosky is hopeful there will be a different outcome when the House considers the bill in March.